Yes, I know it's a sad view to uh, to see the Sterling engine like this, but the good news is I'm going to rebuild it. In my last video, um, you could see me uh, dis disassembling the engine, and I told you about the upgrade plans. But when I looked at it again, um, there were too many points that uh, I wanted to upgrade, so I decided to build a completely new engine. Um, yeah, because I could change so much. The main, the main thing I would change was uh, the crank. Um, when I first welded it, uh, I intended to uh, secure it with Loctite, uh, but that didn't work so good. So then it had to be welded, but the heat from the welding um, damaged the damage the bearings um, so I wanted to completely rebuild that um, and then I looked at other things uh, for example that are aluminum tubes and they are just yeah you can hear the sound they're scrubbing and there's just too much play in it they're not straight uh, too many problems so then I would also have to replace that um, the top plate is bending, so I had to put an extra rubber uh, layer in between. So, because of all the things, uh, I decided to completely rebuild it. Um, at first, um, from the first version, we made computer drawings um, in SolidWorks, uh, and that's really handy because we can. Uh, that way, we could see. Um, how everything fitted together and for example uh, you could exactly see how that worked out and so it, I decided I uh, built a new one um, and I was started in um, I was first started a 3D drawing uh, I was first sketch it in uh, my computer before I am um, going to make it but there will be a few design changes I have the drawings over here all the printed drawings and I used yellow notes to uh, change dimensions and actually they will change quite a lot um, some dimensions will be changed and yeah just the general model will be updated um, yeah better cooling better better heat better crank better connections everything yeah, this is the first video about rebuilding it. Um, I will just um, make a video about everything I do to redesign and rebuild the engine. Um, so you can follow the complete build from from this part to the finished engine. So yeah, the engine is currently now like is now like this. Um, I haven't decided yet what I'm going to do with this one. Um, now I use it uh, for measurements and look at how, yeah, look at look for things I can change. Um, in the next video, I will be um, designing some SolidWorks uh, part drawings. Uh, actually, the new engine um, will be made uh, all from. Materials like stainless steel, aluminum, PVC uh, that won't rust like uh, this one did. So, yeah, if you have any comments or suggestions from the, for the new engine, um, tips, ideas, uh, just let me know in the comments. Um, I'll read them and yeah, see you in my next video.